If you're anything like the majority of working people, you probably feel a little underappreciated and underpaid at work. That is not uncommon. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five essential tips that you need to utilize in order to ensure that you get the raise you deserve. Let's get started. Right off the bat, let's recognize that it's probably kind of annoying that you have to actually ask for a raise in the first place, but it's important to understand that the vast majority of managers and bosses are so absorbed in their own work, whether you call that self-absorption is up to you, but they're so absorbed in their own work that they're not going to really notice what you're doing or they're not really going to pay attention to your needs or your pay. So it's important that you are active and pursuant in getting your raises. That leads into what is the first tip, and that is ultimately to not wait for management to actually offer you a raise, but rather be proactive and get your raise yourself. If you sit on your laurels and allow them to basically just pay you whatever they want, they'll likely just pay you whatever they want, which is the bare minimum that they can get away with. It's up to you to ensure that you actually fight and advocate for yourself. You are your best advocate. It's so important that you go forward and seek that raise. If you wait for them to do it, there's a good chance it'll never happen. So again, it is so important that you take that first step, which is a very hard step. You take that first step towards earning higher wages by demanding a raise. Tip number two is extremely important, and it is that you should never base your request of a raise based off of your financial need and financial situation. I'd hate to say it, but employers simply do not care that you're struggling to pay the bills. It's ruthless, I know, but they just don't. They're trying to run a business and they increase their profits by paying you less. So understanding that, the best strategy for you to get a raise is to approach the conversation with a basis of how much value you provide to the the company and to the employer. I know that food is getting more expensive, fuel is getting more expensive, the cost of living is getting more expensive, but you simply cannot frame your request for a raise on those merits. You need to discuss the value you bring to the company, the value you bring to the employer, and why a raise is fitting for what you provide them in service. Whenever possible, provide the employer with tangible evidence of the profits and the value that you've provided to the company. Again, demonstrate your value and illustrate to them why you've earned your raise. That is the best approach you can take when having these conversations. Tip number three is to research the competitive rates and salaries for your job before approaching your employer about a raise. It is so important that you come into these negotiations prepared. And while this can be a little tricky to do, because quite frankly, it can be extremely awkward and downright rude to ask your fellow colleagues how much they're making. So let's assume that, you know, that's not really an option. However, if you have a friend and they're willing to dis uh, disclose that information, that's great. But let's just assume for the purpose of this video that, you know, you're not going to be comfortable asking other people for their wages. With that being said, there are a few strategies you can use to determine this information. First, and it's by far the easiest, is to look at job postings at your own company and at other companies for similar positions. That's going to give you, first of all, an idea of what the salary is, the pay rate, but most importantly, it also goes to show you what the responsibilities and expectations of those uh, positions are. Because one of the ways that people determine the cost and the wages of a given employee is based on the responsibilities that they take on. So if you're taking on way more responsibilities than the job description actually indicates, that might be a good kind of source for motivation to push for that raise. And it's also a way that you can kind of fundamentally help your employee understand why you've earned that raise. If you're working above your pay grade, then you know, they should meet that. There is an additional benefit to doing this research up front, and you may not have thought about it, but in the event that your employer does refuse the raise, which is entirely possible, well, you've done the research now, and now you know other competitors are offering better rates and better salaries with better benefits and all the types of things that you're looking for, so throw your name in there, right? You've done that research, you've done that legwork, so now you can start planting seeds towards making a career movement that might benefit you more. With regards to research, I also believe that it's very important that you put some time and effort into researching the financial situation of your employer. It might make perfect sense to you, but some people just don't do this. You can use this as leverage in your discussion. For instance, if you know that the employer is making record profits, they have tons of cash on hand, and they are financially extremely stable, you can use that with the evidence of how much profit you've provided in the previous tip to essentially say, hey, we're extremely profitable. I'm aiding you in essentially getting that profit. There's no reason why I am not entitled to this earned pay raise. So again, do some research into the company's financials. And if you find something that supports your argument, then use it. 
Tip number four is to be patient and time your request appropriately. When asking for a raise, it's so important that you consider the time frame. And there's a couple different factors here. So first of all, it, let's say that your employer had a really rough quarter and they had to lay off some of your staff. Well, that's really unfortunate. You hate to see it. But the reality is, is if you're still working there, your job description and your duties may change. Now you might be thinking, Alex, of course I'm not going to ask for a raise after they just laid off people. But hold on. That's not necessarily what I'm saying. Yes, you wouldn't do that immediately after. But if they lay people off and they increase your responsibility, after like a few weeks or a month or whatever the time is right, you can determine that. You can then approach them and say, hey, you know, uh, we have less employees, we have less staff, and you've put so much more added responsibility on me, I believe that I'm entitled to a raise. Once again, you need to establish the value that you're bringing to this company. And despite what might be a difficult financial situation for them or a difficult quarter or what is perceived as negative news, if you're still working there and you've increased your responsibility, that can be used as leverage in your negotiation. Another key element of timing your request for a raise appropriately is that you need to consider, well, how long you've worked there. If you've only been working there for a month and you kind of hired, got hired at a certain pay rate and agreed upon that, it could be hard for you to kind of have that discussion saying, hey, I've only been here a month, but you know, I want to make more money. Uh, with that being said as well, you also need to consider, is there a probationary period? Um, you, know, uh, you know, are you under contract? All these types of things really limit your ability to negotiate an additional raise. So it's so important that you put that at the frame of mind. Now, there's another thing that I'm kind of sheep as even mentioning, but if you've been disciplined, it's probably not the best time to ask for a raise. So like, let's say you've had a run in with your boss or you've been disciplined because you were late or you made a mistake or whatever it might be. Okay. We've all been there. You make a mistake at work. The boss gives you the, you know, probably not the best time the next day to go in. Hey, I want more money. You know, how, how about that? It's probably wait a little bit, right? So it's also very important for you to consider that, you know, read the room a little bit. If you've just recently been disciplined, you probably need to wait a little longer before asking for a raise. Again, in this world, timing is everything. Tip number five, and I believe this to be by far the most important tip of all is never ever issue an ultimatum when having a discussion about your raise, especially if you do not have a job lined up already. This is one of the worst things you can do. Essentially, if you go into a, a raise discussion, you say, Hey, if you don't give me this raise boss, I'm quitting. You put them in an impossible situation. Remember, if they're the employer or the boss, they are theoretically in an authoritative position. If you say, give me the raise or I'm quitting, they don't, it's human nature that they are going to go on the defensive and they're going to refuse it simply out of principle because they are the decision maker in that area. And if you force a decision on them, they are more likely to be defensive. What happens is you don't get your raise and you don't have a job, especially if you don't have a job lined up, like what have you just done, right? You've gone completely backwards. Not only did you not get a raise, you lost your job. So it's one of those things that you really have to carefully manage. Remember your bosses, your managers, they're human beings. If you put them into an impossible situation regards to, regarding their power dynamic, it's very likely that they're going to be defensive and you will lose that negotiation. And my next tip is to watch this next video, because if you found this content useful, this channel will be filled with lots of amazing content to help you with your financial future. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Take care everyone and we'll see you in the next video.